Hello and welcome to another episode of Just Make Game. My name is Michael. And my name is Hayley. And this is our show. This month we made game. It is very fun to make game, also nice. Here is Haley. tell more about make game. So this month I have been working on getting all of the playable characters animations done. Now they are all pretty much finished and ready to go in the game when we get around to that. Except for one thing, like we may have forgotten to do a death animation for them. <laughs> Oops. At the moment, there are 17 different playable characters, and we might even add a couple more if we think of any other cool characters to put in. As we have said before, they will all start with their own unique stats, weapons, and special abilities. You'll start the game off playing as a soldier character, and then you'll unlock the other characters as you progress through the game. I'm also working on writing a tiny little bit of a bio for each of the characters just to give you a bit of a backstory to where they came from and how they got dragged to the island. So watch out for that on our Twitter and our Facebook or if you're one of our awesome patrons you'll get that a little bit earlier on Patreon. So doing these animations pretty much took up my entire month because there are a lot of them to get through. Next I'll be doing that death animation that we forgot about for each of the characters. Then I might start doing some more objects for the other level that we're working on or maybe some more animations for the god, but who knows, our to-do list is still a mile long. We are just slowly chipping away at it and getting things done. Alrighty, exciting things. Uh, remember our god, this fella, this little pal here? Well, he's in the game. He sits right up here on the HUD and he judges you silently. In the end, he won't be silent because you have sound effects too, but at the moment it's silently, silent judging. Um, he reacts both positively and negatively to what you do and he does that in a passive and active fashion. And it's all based around what actions you as the player take. There's a whole bunch of uh, debug junk on the screen at the moment and that gives you a bit of an idea as to how it actually works. At the moment he has three separate mood sort of sliders, you can think of them, they go from negative 100 to positive 100 and uh, things you do as a player influences these sliders and the sliders influence other sliders and there's a whole like web of things that all act upon each other and end up with these final numbers. There's a lot of things going on under the hood. Uh, at the moment the range of actions which uh, actually sort of give results are purposely limited so I can debug things easily before making things overly complex and then having no idea why insert thing isn't working but at the moment it's kind of simple um, although the algorithm behind what happens after you do an action is pretty complex right now and seems to be working which is great the the god's mood decides what sort of actions he performs so uh, like he does all sorts of things like if he's pissed off with you he can spawn a bunch of enemies around you if he's feeling particularly mischievous which is one of the end results on those sliders then at the moment he currently for example spawns a bunch of junk around you and finds that very funny and then increases his humor slider so he's sort of yeah he's it's going to be pretty dynamic and he's um Hopefully going to be a little bit of a pain in the ass, but still will somewhat fun as well, because fun's the main thing. Those who have been following the series for a while will remember uh, the whole heap of animations that Haley has done for the god. Uh, the reason we've got that is so that you can actually just look up in the corner and get an instant idea of how the god is feeling towards you. Um, there's also going to be audio cues as well, so that, you know, you don't have to constantly keep glancing up in the corner of the screen, but he'll... The idea is that you always know what's going to be in store for you and you have an idea of how he's feeling and then based on that what he's probably going to do to you and there's nothing you can do about it apart from just sit there and stew because it's it's coming. I've also gone and rebalanced all of the melee weapons. Uh, I've altered the speed, damage and reach values for each so that the um, playing field between the different types is a bit more level. Um, previously there wasn't distinct advantages and disadvantages to each type. Uh, things like the swords uh, previous to balancing were just better than every other weapon. Spears were great, daggers were terrible. So um, I've gone through and sort of balanced it out because I want the, the idea is that sort of any loadout you pick in terms of melee, ranged, and special ability all are viable to some degree. Like they might not be optimal, but you can sort of get through the game regardless of what you pick. You want to do it with, you know, just like brass knuckles and a sling and your special ability is you can teleport then go for it. Or you want to run around with like an axe and a shotgun and 
you know, do like a self buff rage, berserker rage sort of thing, then they are both equally viable sort of playstyles. Obviously, this will all be changing again in the future, but I'm hoping that uh, from now on it's a bit more of a just a subtle tweak to values rather than a sort of overhaul, which is what I've just gone ahead and done because everything we had in there was basically just a placeholder. Age of Funding for this episode of Just Make Game was provided by Vin Hill, Tyler, Hyatt, Roman Kovalev, Raf Bluffin, Ivan Markarevich, Jin Yang, Dennis Soy, Connor Bowen, Charlotte Harper, Bumper Car Studios, Ben Kersnowski, Alan Pask, and viewers like you. Whoa, thank you very much for watching. We will see you next month for another episode of Just Make Game. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.